Good day everyone, this is the ERP Next series number 15. Okay, so today we're gonna do the production plan from the sale order and then we're gonna create the work order from the manufacturing. Okay, please enjoy the video. the topic on the ERP next from the last video clip we have uh, issued a sale order so it mean we want to sell the product you know I mean if you come to the uh, the, the the sales for you have the, the sales sell order we make the sale order already but we haven't have the product yet so I sell to 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 one customer okay here we are this one we sell to to one customer and then we expect to deliver on the 15th of the april this one is the product you can come and then check in the row you're gonna find out that you need to deliver quantity for 20 you know but if you go down they're gonna have the planning and then call projected quantity what is the meaning of projected quantity and why it's become minus size it's because uh, naturally when you run the business sometimes you have the product in in your warehouse but it's actually not yours right suppose you have 100 products and then you sell for 70 units of your product or Already, but uh, you still have 100 because you haven't delivered so it means you just have the product only 30 left another 70 belong to your customer right? so this one is the same thing however we haven't have the product at all right the product for for this unit right? the mock moc the lego unit is zero but we can sell for 20 already so that's why the projected quantity is become minus size right? so you need, need to worry about this one right? so this one is the sell uh, the sell order uh -huh. okay so what we gonna do is we cannot mm, do anything right i mean we cannot just just deliver the product because we didn't have wouldn't have it so we go to the uh the manufacturing process you know when you go to the manufacturing process they have two terminology that is work order and production plan uh -huh. actually the work order is is for you in order to uh, make the product right but you can just issue work order it means you just produce the product first and then try to sell it or you may have the project or you may have sell order like this and then what you trying to do is you just sell uh you just product based on the sale order so that's that's when we call production plan so i click on the production plan right? and then uh, click new production plan okay so i said i want to get from sale order right? and then the posting date should be maybe last month on the 13th okay so we have the sale order and then we just try to get the data by filter but you, you can just filter by the product right? or you can filter by customer why why we we need to do the filter because you know sometimes it's possible for the people to make the uh, the production plan for more than sales volume, right? I mean, more, more than sales order at the time. For example, if you can sell to maybe 20 customer, you can combine the sales volume, right? and then you just produce uh, together in one plan, okay? So this one, we get the product, or, uh, we get the product code, and then we get sale order. So the ERP next gonna search for this product code, and then we found out that we have the sale order date on number 10, right? customer is the consequence, right? something like this. Right? So what I have to do is we, we, we can have it already. Right? So next, next after we have the sale order, I mean, we know exactly what is the product we want to do. We can keep get item for work order. Right? So we need to produ produce for 20 units in the warehouse finished good, you know? I mean, I, I can show you. Right? Normally, uh, when we start to do the manufacturer is not just only trading anymore so you need to one uh, uh, worry about the warehouse right? the warehouse uh, we're gonna have a, a lot more but at this moment we have three warehouse that is store right I mean when you sell the product you just buy and sell so we just put everything in the store for the finished good and work in progress it mean if you uh, want to build something you put the raw material in the work in progress and then after we finish we put it into the finished good so finished good is mean the product that is only for the one that comes from production okay so we come back to the uh, production plan 
นะครับ in in here นะครับโอเค so we have the uh, the production plan for the work order already นะฮะ so I said the warehouse that we gonna do is in the work in progress after we click work in progress so they gonna do the material planning cost for the raw material right for the product if you remember that in order to make the Lego MOC นะครับ we have to have this one that is in the bomb นะครับ in the bill of material นะครับ so if you did not remember you can uh, come back to the to the bomb นะครับ the bomb list and then this one is the bill of material นะครับ that we do so we need support to do this one first Okay, so we come back here and then we gonna have the production, uh, the the production plan. นะครับ So this one is is the the uh, production plan that we we uh, gonna do it. นะครับ For this kind of the product. Okay, so I just save uh, and then uh, submit. นะครับ So it mean right now we have the uh, production plan already. นะครับโอเค however this production plan we haven't started นะครับ so it means we need to create the work order in order to make it uh, really work so I just click on the work order นะครับ create on the work order and then you go to see work order นะครับ so in the work order นะ from from this one นะครับ that you need to produce this item since the work order is the transaction you will not you you cannot name it right it's the transaction นะครับ and then you need to produce twenty uh, you may include it in the project but we need need to do it right now นะครับ so this one is the work order already นะครับ so I set the work in progress for how to become work in progress นะครับ and then you need to uh, consume นะฮะ I mean you need to use this raw material นะครับ and then plan start date and this one is need to go back in time นะครับ allow 13 and then the expected uh, this one นะครับ maybe 8 o'clock should be uh, 8 o'clock here นี่นะครับ okay and expected delivery date is come from the the sale order นะครับ and then you need to have the operation Yeah, something like this, and then sometimes you may need to add the cost. Uh, for example, you may have special assignment. นะครับ I I may just put it that maybe we need to put some uh, cost for this order. นะครับ I mean just just not just only the normal one. นะครับ And then we have the operation time. นะครับ For sixty, why why is become sixty? Because uh, it's thirty minute each, and then and then every time you do you you do it for ten unit, right? So it's become sixty. นะครับโอเค so at this moment I just save โอเค and then I save it and when I submit they gonna create the job card however I think uh, I gonna do the job card maybe in the next clip so I gonna end this uh, video clip by I haven't submit นะครับ the work order so but anyway it's come from uh, our the production plan โอเค thank you and bye bye see you again next video clip